what is up and welcome back to the plymouth argyle career so we are still in the summer transfer window and our squad is rather thin i would say uh, as a matter of fact if we have a look down here at the reserves there's only eight players there and this bottom row most likely not going to be getting very much game time maybe freddie bacon and and law as as backups on the wing at the wing back positions but I mean, we, we need some help. We need to sign a couple of players to strengthen the squad a little bit. But that brings up a whole new issue. And that is, we have no money. We have 800,000 pounds in the transfer budget, 12K in the wage budget. We can't afford to really buy any players right now. I mean, we could try to loan them in, but loaning players in is a hassle. So what we're really going to do is we're going to look at the free agency. We're going to dig into our youth academy, see if we have any players there that we could possibly call up. I know we have quite a few that are like 17, 18 years old. So let's have a look there first. So as we have a look at this, I think the main positions we really, really need, we have to get another winger in. We only have four wingers currently in the squad. And we have one right here, Edward Vincent, 17 years old, one of the highest rated players in the Youth Academy at 62 overall. I think it's time to give him a call up. So Edward Vincent, let's, I almost went to development plan. Let's promote, let's not release him. Promote him to the senior squad. So Edward Vincent is called up. We also have Max Manning who's the best player in the youth academy at 18 years old but i don't quite have a spot for him yet so if i could just wait a little bit while longer and maybe we can clear some things up i just i don't want to mess with him quite yet we also have josh bell at striker but again i don't need a backup striker right now either so that's our one winger the other position we really really need is center back austin webster's only five foot six i kind of have him in here more as like a, a right back possibly or a left back as he's left footed we don't have any center backs in here and that brings us to the free agents and i mentioned last episode i asked what we should do should we sign free agents in this series and given our current position we kind of have to but i have decided i'm not going to sign any players out of free agency that are higher rated than the current starters in their position so felix daniel i mentioned him last episode phenomenal player as most computer generated players are but he's too high rated i think he's 72 rated right now higher rated than both of our starting wingers so we're not going to go down that road actually we don't need wingers at all it's just using him as an example but center backs i have two listed here kevin boma and vicente santos santos being the better player very very much the better player but he's higher rated than Odomeo. so i can't i can't just sign a free agency and plug him right into the starting lineup doesn't make sense for our squad so we're going to sign kevin boma hopefully he comes in pretty cheap what we don't know how much to offer well we're gonna sign him because we don't have much of a choice right now and with the signing of boma we actually completed another objective for this year we already completed the brand exposure one when we signed kenobio before the season started and now we've completed the youth development one as well so our two most important objectives for this year already done you'll love to see it and just when i thought we had everything covered and we're looking good turns out not so much I uh, decided to have a look at who was on an expiring contract this year, and uh, there's quite a few of them. Our captain, Joe Edwards. We have James Bolton, who pissed me off last episode. He can go. I'm not, I'm not worried about him. Uh, Gillespie, who's been a decent player for us and is our primary backup center back right now. Uh, George Cooper, who's our starting right winger. Luke Jeffcott, who is kind of, I would say, the centerpiece of the team. Uh, Danny Mayer, who I do like, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to resign him now. Uh, our backup goalkeeper in Callum Burton. We've got Ryan Hardy, who is a decent squad player. And then Niall Ennis, who's kind of our primary backup winger. So I'm going to have to pull some wizardry here and figure this out. And I'm going to start with Luke Jeffcott. It might take all of the money that we have, but I'm going to start with him. Oh, no. Luke Jeffcott wants to leave? I've, I've never actually run into that before. This, this might be a situation of we have to sell him and at some point down the road, get him back. I was not planning on that at all. I'm actually, I actually don't know what to do. That's, uh, can I, can I do a one year extension? Okay. He did a one year extension. No release clause. Okay. 8,000 signing bonus. Yeah, I mean, I can actually afford all of that. But 
I, I oh no Ooh, this is this is just so not not what I was hoping for here can I remove that bonus that saves us a little bit of money can we do that okay okay we settled that so I, I got him one more year maybe I think let me double check okay one more season at least to Luke okay <laughs> catastrophe averted but we might have to look at selling Luke Jeffcott. I never thought that would be possible or even consider that to be a thing that I would have to possibly look at. So after some intense negotiations, we didn't really get very much done at all. We did resign Luke Jeffcott, which is the most important one. And we resigned Joe Edwards for the next year, our captain. So I'm happy with that. But I offered some contracts to, to some of these players and we're just not anywhere close to meeting their wage demands. James Bolton, we're just gonna sell. Gillespie, I like him, but I, I just, I think we're gonna end up just le losing him on a free transfer at the end of the season. Danny Mayer, another player that I like, he scored some big goals for us, but I just, we have so many young midfielders that it doesn't make sense to resign him at this point. George Cooper, I offered a, a contract to, but I, the, what he wants, I just don't think with the, with the young wingers we have, similar to Danny Mayer, we have some young wingers coming up that have much higher potential than him. I think it just doesn't make sense to resign him, but that sucks because I do like George Cooper. Ryan Hardy is just a casualty of finances. I don't have the money to resign two strikers this, this year. So Ryan Hardy is just gonna have to be sold. Callum Burton I wasn't too worried about. We have some backup uh, Youth Academy goalkeepers we can call up. And then Niall Ennis, this was a big one. We offered a contract. It wasn't close to what he wanted. He wants actually very, very close to what Luke Jeffcott just got. And I'm not sure he's worth that money. Unless we move him up to a starting winger position, he does have slightly better potential than George Cooper. So if we lose Cooper and promote Ennis to a starter, might make sense. But then again, we do have other young wingers with higher potential. So does it make sense to commit 8K per week with our limited finances to Niall Ennis? I'm not sure. And I'm actually not gonna do anything with Niall in this transfer window. We're just gonna wait till the winter and see what happens with him maybe we can still resign him so with the transfer window done we move into the month of september where we will face bristol city and every game we play this month is going to be against a top 10 team in the league and to make matters worse we don't have luke jeffcott who's away on international duty so hardy will step in to play striker we're going to give vincent his debut as well on the right this is uh this is gonna be an interesting month for us to vincent spider Back for Vincent. Vincent across. Oh, just behind Kamara. That was actually beautifully worked. Oh, he knew who. Make some space for himself. We got a lot of green shirts forward. Knew who. Oh, he skips a tackle. Knew who. In there for Tierney. And he scores. Tierney puts one in the back of the net. Knew who. Woo. Train left the station on that one. Knew who was on a mad one. I love those knew who runs. And then the space just opened up for Tierney. Beautiful finish as well. Spider. On one. Spider. Oh, he flip flops around. Oh, I just couldn't put it past the keeper. He did everything, but just couldn't beat the keeper. So close. With a space here for Tierney. Leaves it for Spider. In there for Hardy. Oh, he's left footed. You know, Ryan Hardy's left footed. Is he left footed? He better be with a finish like that. Hardy? No, he's right footed. That was his strong foot. He's got a five star weak foot anyway. That was his strong foot. That's why he doesn't play. Oh, they just keep leaving all this space open. Spider in there. Hardy this time. Oh, he sucks. Oh, he sucks something fierce. I can't handle Ryan Hardy, bro. I, I want to sell him and just bring up our youngster. I can't remember his name in the Youth Academy, but he can't be worse than him. Find it to Hardy. We don't want Hardy to shoot. We will take Spider. No, nope. another one. How are we not scored a goal? <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, what a move. Left Joe Edwards in the dust. Knew who? Ah, knew who just Scorpion cleared that off the crossbar? Because only knew who would be able to do that. Oh my goodness. What did I just witness? Oh, and then they missed. What the hell is going on? Oh, that's a really good ball. And a really good finish. And there it is. There's the equalizer. And again, second halves in games. We just are so, we're so bad. Oh, we lost the ball. Bad. Oh, that's worse. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, that's a good ball. The last pass was rather unnecessary, but there's a go-ahead goal for Bristol. 
Nothing's changed for this team, has he? No, sir, it is not. We still suck in the second half. Otomeo, find a count. I'm not sure what they just did. They messed up. Well, I don't know why that ball didn't go to Spider Douglas. It's going to be Kenobio instead. Off the post, Hardy. Blocked. Why did the ball go to Spider? Why did it go all the way to Kenobio? It makes no sense. Kill me now. They're on the breakaway again. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no, Otomeo is massive. He's so good. We have another chance here. Jesus, our passing has been so bad. That's good. That's better. Here comes Spider. Spider Douglas. Finish. Bang in the back of the net. There's the play we wanted like five minutes ago. Spider puts it away an extra time. And I think we've salvaged a draw from a win. Which is not great, but it's point. Yeah, there's the final whistle. Right after kickoff. We had it. We played unbelievable in the first half. And they just came out and laid a turn right in midfield. Like we just crapped our pants in the middle of the pitch. Decided not to play defense. We played okay offensively. Couldn't hit the back of the net though. And we end up with a draw. Cool. So up next for us, we have West Brom at home. And I'm going to start simming a lot more games. Just to move through the season a lot faster. And it also will make the episodes a little bit more quicker paced. Which I've really, really been trying to do. So, this one we're going to sim. We do have Jeff caught back. I'm going to start Ennis on the wing. And I'm going to put Freddie Bacon at right back. We got to start playing our younger players. I know we're going to start tumbling down the table a little bit. But we don't have the money to buy players. We have to play the younger guys and let them develop a little bit. So... This is the start of the youth initiative here at Plymouth. And we actually get a draw against West Brom. I'm happy with that. Our next match is away at Stoke. We're going to sim this one as well. We have a rather big cup match coming up next. And we get the win. Now, Jeff Cott. <laughs> New contract. Luke Jeff Cott scores in both matches so far that he's played. He is absolutely crucial to what we are doing here at Plymouth. And we have Watford up next in this Carabao Cup match. We are going to very heavily rotate the team here. Um, and you know what? I think we'll go ahead and play this one. We'll, we'll see what the youngsters can do. We got Bomo's going to get his de debut in there. We got Vincent back on the right. Dick Gall on the left. We got to stick with Luke Jeffcock because I'm not playing Ryan Hardy. And uh, yeah, just some, some rotation all the way around. So let's, let's see if we can't continue on in the Carabao Cup. Kamara coming forward in the middle do we have tyranny we do and we hold it beautifully worked luke jeffcott there's not a more sure thing on this planet than luke jeffcott one-on-one -on -one. back of the net what nothing to plymouth gets that out of danger to de carvalho layoff for kamara this is beautifully worked back in the midfield luke jeffcott beautiful first touch oh he's just too good I mean, I can't even blame him now for wanting to leave. You know, he, he actually is too good for this team. He really is. It's two goals in less than 20 minutes. Tierney, can he find this ball? Oh, what a ball. New who on the run. Is it going to be a Luke Jeffcott hat trick? It's going to be Kamara. I don't know why Jeffcott stopped. But fair enough. Kamara scores. And it's 3-0. We're just killing Watford. Is that Freddy? Oh, it's Gillespie. Gillespie getting a start in this one. Oh, ref. How are these not fouls, man? Oh, it's going to be a tap-in. Yeah. This is a lot of pressure from Watford after that third goal we scored, and they got one back. Fair enough. They kind of turned it on really, really well just now. That was kind of scary. Spider. That's what we've been missing. Someone that could just break out by himself. Go on, Spider. Break the pressure. Come on, boys. Spider. Hold it. In there. Tierney. One more. Boom. Jeff caught. Back of the net. Spider Douglas was all we needed. Instant impact off the bench from Spider. 4-1 to Plymouth. Watford can go home. Get out. Piss off. Wait, you're not welcome here anymore. Go away. Come on, Hardy. Bring this away on the counter. Hardy. Oh, what a touch by Ryan Hardy. He actually deserves to shoot this one. If he misses, he misses. But he deserves it. He scores. 5-1 to Plymouth. And it, this, the momentum has shifted again. It's just all us right now. Corner for what? Gee, could that have gone any higher up? Gillespie. Deals with it. Kind of tips it over everybody. And Hardy, again with a good touch. That was a little bit lucky though. And gets it away. And actually Hardy has the straight line speed to just burst away. There goes Ryan Hardy. Is it going to be six for Plymouth? It is. Hardy scores again. 
And we're just pouring it on. Oh, that's a hell of a ball. Did the ref just blow for full time? I mean, it's 6-1. I guess it really doesn't matter that much. But that dude was in. That was criminal what he just did to that man. But hey, we'll take it. Lou Jeff caught with a hat trick. Ryan Hardy scores two. Who else scored? Uh, did Spider score? Who else scored? Wait, who actually scored the other goal? Hold on. Who scored a goal in this game? Jeff caught, Jeff caught. Oh, it's Kamara. Kamara scored a goal. There we go. Six. We hung six on Watford. All right, so some transfers to go over now. We have sold James Bolton to LAFC in MLS for 560,000 pounds. And we sold Ryan Hardy for 1.5 million to Boca Juniors, which is a little bit of a random one, but there we go. So two more players will be leaving us once the winter transfer window opens. So we are back to full strength for our next match, which will be at home against Middlesbrough. We are going to sim this one as well. Even given George Cooper's start, and we lost. I don't think it has anything to do with George Cooper. Might have something to do with subbing Hardy on right after halftime for Luke Jeffcott. What the hell happened there? Who's managing this team? And we are actually going to end this one here for today because we have Watford up next in the league, and I do want to play that game, followed by one against Southampton, who are top of the table right now. So, like I said, fewer games played per episode means more frequent episodes and quicker paced episodes. So I think it's gonna be better this way. We do find ourselves down in fifth, falling a little bit, which is to be expected. We're playing the better teams in the league right now. So it was bound to happen one way or another, but I'm still liking where we're at. We're, we're, we're gonna have more youngsters coming through. We might have to promote that Manning guy out of the Youth Academy, Max Manning, I think his name was. Cause De Carvalho, he ain't it, man. I, I might just sell him. He's just not getting it done as, as a Youth Academy player for us. So we, we might have to promote one or maybe two more players to maybe fill in in the midfield. But that's where we're going to end it for today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know. But leave a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you when you come back for some more Plymouth Argyle career. See ya.